Hello and welcome to Chimbo's Gaming, I am Scorp, and some time ago now, I wrote some script to enable you to auto-mount an external hard drive on your Steam Deck. It was popular enough, in fact, that Jusox even distributed the code with their dock with the SSD slot built into it. Things have changed a lot since then, and now SteamOS 3.5 and later let you automatically mount external hard drives through SteamOS itself. Unfortunately, this only extends to X4 formatted hard drives. So, I decided to update my script. And instead of rewriting it, I've basically cheated a bit. I've stolen Valve's code and just edited it to allow mounting other types of file systems. And also, I've extended it a little bit. So now, not only will it mount external hard drives, it will also mount internal SD cards and also internal drives. So if you've got a shared partition on your Steam Deck, if you're dual booting, it will mount that as well. And in the case of SD cards and external hard drives, it will also mount where no partitions are. So if you've done a full disk format, rather than making a partition first, it will also mount those. Those of you who have done it will probably understand. I'm not going into detail. So here's just a quick list of all the drives that I've got currently plugged into my deck. I have an NTFS formatted external SSD at SDA2. I have an NTFS formatted SD card on MMC BLK 0P1. And I also have two NTFS partitions on my internal drive, which are for my Windows 11 dual boot. As well as NTFS, the script also supports BTRFS and also XFAT, but XFAT can't be used as a Steam library for reasons. But it's still useful if you're wanting to play some legally acquired ROMs or maybe from other stores, etc, etc. So I'll try and get to the point now. So basically, just come to my GitHub page. There will be a link in the description. It's github.com slash scorp. And then simply follow the install instructions, which are basically copy this line of curl and paste it into a terminal. Please do read all the code and check you are happy with it or let someone else. You will need a pseudo password. So do type in passwd first if you haven't set one yet. I'm not going to set one for you or let my script ask you for the one. I don't believe in that, so you'll have to set that yourself. And then once it's installed, simply restart your deck and then you will get back into game mode and hopefully, not hopefully, it will. It will all be automatically mounted. <laughs> so I'm now back in game mode and here we are in storage. And as you can see, here is my external SSD. It is mounted as NTFS. So is my micro SD card and so is my shared drive that I share with Windows so I don't have to install games twice between Windows and SteamOS. I am now going to plug in a BTRFS external hard drive and as if by magic, poof, there it go, there it appears. So these drives will only appear in game mode if it finds a folder on the hard drive called Steam Library or there is a Steam library directly on the root of the file system. If it's somewhere else, then you'll have to drop into game mode and find it yourself. And in the case of XFAT, it will auto mount, but regardless, it will not add that to Steam Deck Steam libraries because XFAT is not supported in Steam libraries on SteamOS because it requires sim linking, which you can't do on XFAT. I'm going to quickly drop into desktop again and show you that working. So I'm going to plug in an external XFAT drive, which I use with my PS4. This is why it's called PS4. And as you see in discs and devices, it is auto mounted. And I'll quickly show you in LSBLK that it is also mounted all automatically, all with this script. So between Valve script, which will automatically mount X4 on SD cards and external drives, my script will then add the ability for BTRFS, NTFS, and XFAT on SD cards, external SSDs, and some of the internal partitions, everything that's below um, partition nine, I believe it is. So it doesn't interrupt with anything that Steam's already set. So that is it for me. I hope that helps. Why not check out one of my other guides or some of my other scripts? There will be some links in the description. And do share this to anyone that it might help. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.